Hello, welcome, Cabbage here. In War of the Visions, let's do a banner review for Skull and Madiadu. Uh, but first, let's talk about maybe something a lot of people are interested in, and that is uh, Halloween units. Um, are they coming to global? Uh, I do not know, and I'm not going to make a guess. <laughs> uh, the time to do it would be this week, uh, if they haven't done it already. Uh, next week would be possible, but then you would have the Halloween event going well into November, which might be a little strange. I've said this multiple times on Reddit, but it's tricky to do seasonal units in two different versions of a game uh, that are on different schedules. Uh, one way it could go is that they could release uh, these units ahead of time, uh, put them into global, uh, but then nerf them in some way so that they could better fit the global meta. And that is a concern. There is a reason why they release units in a certain order. I think uh, global players would not be happy about this if they uh, got the nerfed units, and I don't think uh, buffing them later in the future is any kind of um, solution either. I think it sets a bad precedent for the company. The company doesn't want to deal with that. Another thing that could happen is that they could wait until next Halloween and then uh, release these units then, and then maybe give them buffs so that they will fit the meta then. Um, if they release uh, the Christmas units, for example, Ramada and Mashiri in global, uh, they will need some buffs, I think, in order to catch up. They're still perfectly usable, but they won't... Uh, I don't know if anybody's going to use them for a high level of PvP. Now the third option is that they could do all new limited characters uh, for global, and that's what I hope that they do, uh, because that would sidestep some issues like uh, nerfs or buffs for existing characters, or getting uh, certain characters very much later, uh, but that would be a lot more effort on the part of Gumi. I don't know how reasonable it would be to expect this for uh, Halloween and Global. Uh, we're six months into the game, and it takes a while to design characters and events. And then right at the launch of the game, of course, they didn't know how successful Global was going to be. I think it's successful enough, uh, but maybe just the timing was not right. Maybe a uh, global exclusive Christmas units would be more possible, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Again, I'm making no guesses about what's going to happen with Halloween units in global. All right, so that probably means that uh, Skull is going to be released this week, um, along with uh, Mariadu. And then I did make a video of uh, Mariadu before. You can check that out if you like. Uh, but in a nutshell, I consider her like an MR Miranda or Algreus, which is super high praise from me. Uh, but she attacks, she heals, uh, she's a good tank, and her AI is pretty good. Uh, she's currently in my main farming team in JP. Uh, the range and speed from Calculator are great. And then when I hunt magic or projectile teams in PvP, I'll consider her. Uh, if you don't have Irudira, then you might want to consider Mariadu because Calculator is a fun and a useful job. And then if you don't have a magic tank, I would seriously consider Mariadu. Especially if you combine her with the, uh, the Fenrir vision card, uh, you can get her magic resistance up pretty high. And then a nice uh, Trustmaster as well. Uh, a sword with high magic is always welcome because lots of jobs like that. And then like tanks can take advantage of the spirit break, so lots to like about this character and the uh, Trustmaster. One of my favorite units to use, probably my favorite uh, MR. Alright, but let's talk about Skaru. He's one of those units that didn't make much of an impact when he was released in JP, but little by little, his uh, reputation has gotten better. He's a solid unit that no one will regret leveling, uh, but he's not super special in any way. Uh, I've heard it said that he is a lightning element mediana, which is so lazy a comparison. <laughs> but during the course of this video, I'll point out differences between him and mediana, and the final conclusion is that you can certainly use both. Uh, it's not a case of if you have Mediana, you can safely skip Skull. Uh, the better comparison to him might be Miranda or Kirufe or Salia. About his name translation, this is one that I'm actually okay with. Uh, if you write out the uh, Japanese and Roman letters, it's Skaru. It's a nonsense made up name. Uh, my best guess for the translation was Skull, uh, the Danish way to say cheers, uh, but they went with S K A H A L. Uh, actually, I wonder if maybe the pronunciation doesn't change at all, uh, like it's the H in Gram. It's one nonsense made-up name changed to another, so it doesn't bother me very much. It's not like the idiocy of taking a perfectly fine nonsense made-up name like Mashiri and changing it to two real words in a third language mashed together 
That would be idiotic to use as a name in that third language, so they don't. Poor, poor Mashiri. She can't catch a break. Maybe she really is fortitudinous. <laughs> Uh, but the most remarkable thing about Skaru is probably his limit break. A little bit of range, very nice area effect, and then 3 hit magic type lightning element attack. And along with Rain, he's one of the few units with a multi hit magic attack, so that makes him one of the best chainers in the game. Uh, it can be used to turn 1 as well, so he's versatile, he's a good farmer. Uh, it also has the stun status effect, so if you don't take down your targets, uh, you can hamper them. Uh, that would be good for PvP as well. Uh, Mediana does not have multi-hit skills, so Skull has the advantage there. Uh, but for jobs, he is a plain old black mage, main job, uh, sub-job staff mage like Kirifei, and then also time mage. He gets the skills of staff mage, uh, but unfortunately not quite the stats, uh, so he doesn't have super high defense and HP like Kirifei. So you can use him more like a traditional uh, mage, like uh, Salia, where you want to kind of keep him at distance and then shoot magic from far away. Uh, but let's look at his uh, status. Yeah, weak to most everything uh, except for magic. That's another difference with uh, Kirufe. And then Trustmaster. This is an accessory. Stats are not so great overall. Uh, accuracy and critical on a uh, mage user's Trustmaster is kind of interesting. Uh, but there will be uh, kind of some future craftable stuff that will have that as well. And then the active ability, uh, take away your own HP, uh, three turns you can buff somebody's magic a lot. I don't really love these uh, sacrifice HP trust master skills because they take away so much. It's like 20, 25, and I don't know if it's worth uh, that buff. So yeah, kind of a so-so trust master. So you could certainly leave Skull at 89 and I think still get great use out of him. Uh, let's look at his uh, 3D model. There he is, very cool. Animation. All right, very cool. <laughs> Alrighty, and then let's look at uh, his ability board. Um, so Black Mage, these are all the things that we're familiar with. Uh, Bio, Thunder, Thundara. Um, Aspil, that will drain the TP. Uh, drain. This is still one of my favorite skills for black mages. Uh, I used Mediana last night uh, to play the Crace high difficulty quests, and Drain came in very handy in there. Lots of guys doing damage to me. Uh, what else we got? Let's see. Flare, that is his uh, job level 12. Black magic spell. Sleep. That's nice for um, using TP in order to raise some AP for yourself. Uh, Toad, that's another one of those. And then Thundaga, that'll be his strongest kind of regular uh, black magic spell. Okay, and then a Staff Mage, let's see what we got there. Uh, he's got the Self Buff to raise his uh, move and jump, that's always nice. Here is a uh, kind of a spinning attack which can cause uh, Confuse on guys around you. I don't know if I've ever used that on uh, Kirufei. <laughs> and then here, this is one that I use all the time with Kirufei. Uh, kind of a medium range, uh, but magic attack, magic scale, damage, and then not very expensive AP skills, so that's pretty good. Oh, and it causes a slow as well. I always uh, forget that part. Uh, step in magic, love this. It's the uh, move and attack. Another option to raise his mobility a little bit. And Energy Buster. This is one of the, maybe the number one reason to want to use this subjob. Uh, but uh, short range, AoE, 100% chance to hit, and then very good damage. And then also with that uh, Kreis high difficulty quest that I was talking about, uh, Kirufe was an MVP, and it was totally because of this skill. Uh, with those high difficulty quests, you have so many guys coming at you, uh, that to be able to take down like maybe three at a time with this kind of skill is very nice. So yeah, basically the reason to use the Staff Mage subjob would be for that uh, Energy Buster. And then here, this is another uh, medium range attack, which can get you the uh, Lightning Magic Damage in there. A uh, chance to stun, so that's nice too. Okay, I think that'll do it for Staff Mage. And then last we have Time Mage.
We have a transposition where you can change uh, places with another character, uh, ally or enemy. So that's a very interesting support skill. And here's haste, one of the main reasons to use time mage. Uh, comet, this will be a non-elemental attack, so you can still use them against um, Earth characters even. Not ideal at all, but <laughs> that is an option. And let's see, slow and quick, maybe the number one reason to use uh, time mages. And levitate, that's not super useful right now. Alright, so those are the skills that he has. The thing about his skill set is that you can't use Energy Buster and Quick at the same time. You gotta choose one or the other. Um, so maybe just think about what you need for a particular team or a particular map, and then go with that uh, sub-job that you want. Okay, next are support abilities. Uh, magic Up, that's great for him of course. Uh, here's another one, I guess if you wanted to double up. <laughs> here's Casting Time Down. This is very useful, especially for Energy Buster. Uh, since you're targeting a panel, not a unit, you don't want that to miss. So, if you are using the Staff Mage subjob, you might want to consider the uh, casting time down. Here's Defense Up, although again, he's not going to be on the same level as Kidofez, so I don't know if he really needs that. Here's the uh, CT Gauge Change Immunity, so Slow, Stop, Haste, and Quick will not work on him. If I understand it correctly, he can equip this, and then he will never cast haste or quick on himself. Uh, so he can use that in order to focus more on casting it on teammates. And I think that's it for support abilities. Uh, reaction, he's got magic counter. That's one of my favorites. Here's slow counter from time mage. That's interesting. If he is hit with uh, any kind of damage, he may uh, mitigate some of that damage with this. That could be okay too. And then uh, Master Ability, I don't have it unlocked, but if I remember, it's like Magic Up and then Casting Time Down, so that's good for him. Oh, I forgot to point out other reasons why uh, Skull is different from Mediana. Uh, but he has Energy Buster, that's the 100% hit attack. Mediana does not have a 100% hit attack. Um, so if I go into Arena with an Evade Party, uh, I want to stay away from Skull. Uh, I want to go after Mediana. So there are many reasons to use Skull instead of Mediana. Uh, but what about for farming? Uh, for me personally, I prefer calculators or double gunners, and then after that I like to use black mages. In theory, maybe I would prefer Skull because of his casting time reduction ability, uh, but in practice Median is the one that I have leveled, so I'll just use her. Uh, Skull's biggest weakness might be his lack of healing, uh, which wouldn't matter so much if not every other magic attacker also had it, like Salia, Kirufe, Miranda, Irudira even uh, Mariaru. It's so common on magic users that it kind of hurts Skull in the big picture. You might choose him less often than other magic users. Okay, but that is a quick look at uh, Skull and uh, Mariaru, and then some thoughts on Halloween units, which we'll just have to wait and see about. Alright, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again. Take care.